Hello friends, welcome to our channel Knowledge Amplifier. So today in this particular video, let us try to understand the concept of AWS Lambda function URLs. Okay, it is a very simple concept, and many times in ad hoc testing or Lambda function trigger in ad hoc manner, this particular concept can help us. So what is that? Let us try to understand. Okay. So already in our previous video, we discussed several concepts related to Lambda. We have seen how to trigger AWS Lambda function as HTTP invocation. That is basically we attach AWS Lambda with API gateway that can be REST API or HTTP API endpoint. And then our client system or using server or using Postman, we hit that particular API URL, right? And in the backend, then API gateway will trigger the Lambda in synchronous or asynchronous manner processing will happen and it will return the result set as simple as that. Okay. so. In simple words, I can say that if you want to perform any HTTP invocation for your AWS Lambda function, then it has to be passed via API Gateway. Okay, and this process required you to learn the concept of API Gateway, API, REST API, HTTP API, etc. in detail. It will not allow you to just simply test your Lambda function using ad hoc HTTP invocation, right? But AWS understood this particular pain point and this year they announced one new functionality that is AWS Lambda function URL. Okay, so what is this? This is nothing but a built-in HTTP endpoint that is globally unique and your client system or using server or using Postman, you can call this particular Lambda function or trigger this particular Lambda function by hitting that particular HTTP endpoint. Okay. That will be called as function URL. We no need API gateway further for HTTP invocation to our Lambda function. Okay. So that's what this particular picture is showing. That here our client system is there. If we want to make an HTTP invocation for a Lambda function earlier, we need to go through API gateway. But using function URL directly, we can trigger our Lambda function. Okay. Function URL, we can easily create in the Lambda console itself. It is nothing but a built in HTTP endpoint. That is globally unique. Okay, so that particular URL will not be same with respect to some other Lambda function for any other account. So that globally unique URL you can share to your client system or you can test it in server and do HTTP invocation and ad hoc testing all these things you can perform. Okay, right. So let us see that how to work with function URL and how to trigger our Lambda function without API gateway. Okay, via HTTP invocation. So for that I will go to my lambda console and here I will create a very simple lambda function. Okay, create function. I will choose my programming language as Python demo function URL. Okay, and then here I will scroll below. I will create the function. Right. So here our function is created, and as you can see, this is just returning hello from lambda. Okay. So let's just test with this particular simple lambda function. Here you can see the function URL option is there. If you click on info, here it is giving you many details about this particular function URL feature which AWS launched newly. Okay. And now to get the function URL for the lambda function, you need to go to the configuration and then here lot of options you will be getting out of that here function URL you will be seeing. Okay. So I will create the function URL. I can choose the authentication type as AWS IAM based authentication or none type. So this is just a POC. So I am choosing none type and function URL permission. This will be attached automatically. So I am perfectly fine with that. I will save this option. Okay. And here I got the function URL. So if I just copy this particular URL and this is globally unique URL, I can share to our client system for triggering this particular lambda directly. Like for example, I can open a new tab and then here I can paste that particular URL. See here we are getting hello from lambda. So how it is happening? It is basically going to the back end. It is triggering this lambda and in the code here we have given the return statement, right? That hello from lambda. So that's what it is showing here, right? So I hope you understood that without using API gateway also. Now if we want to use HTTP invocation for our lambda function, we can use the feature of function URL, okay? And that function URL it is showing here, right? Now in our previous video, when we discussed build a GitHub webhook handler with API gateway and Lambda, then basically what we were doing in that project that we configured post API endpoint, which we created using API gateway in GitHub webhook so that if any activity is happening in our GitHub repository, 
it is pushing that event to that API as post request and then lambda is getting triggered right if you want to know that detailed explanation so you can go through the link given in the description box okay so one of our friend asked this particular question that bro can we directly connect to a hook to lambda and the answer is yes so if you want to avoid api gateway maybe your role don't have that api gateway access or maybe for example you yet to explore that api gateway and lot of learnings has to be done so you want to bypass that way so then you, in that case you can follow that function url concept so let me show you how without api gateway directly from github we can trigger our lambda using function url right so here we got our function url that is basically this one i will copy that one and here i will go to my github maybe for this particular repository we want to configure webhook so for that i will go to settings and then here i will get webhook option and here add webhook i will be clicking and here payload url so here i can provide that function url instead of the post api endpoint what we created using api gateway earlier in our previous video the content type i will be choosing application or json and then here enable ssl that is fine and then what events i want to pass from github to lambda so let me choose individual events so earlier we have chosen one particular event that whether in our this particular repository if someone is clicking on this star or removing star then that event should be passing to that api right so that same thing we will choose now also so for that i need to choose this star option so here if you see that stars are there if, if a star is created or deleted from the repository then the github will push that particular event to that post api endpoint earlier we were using that post api endpoint which is created using api gateway but now we are using that lambda function url okay but the functionality will be same and here i will add the webhook okay so webhook is added right and now here this is the code which we used earlier for counting total number of stars available in our repository i will copy the same code and here in this particular lambda i paste this code okay and here i will deploy right so here it is successfully deployed i can go to monitor section and then i can open cloudwatch also parallelly to show you that in real time whenever in github in our repository whenever star is created or deleted then it will be coming as log in our this particular lambda we will see that okay so here what i will do as of now one star is there so i will just remove a star okay so currently seven star are there right so soon in the cloud watch in real time the data should be coming see one data came i can open that one and see here it is showing that count of star are seven okay and really seven stars are there now i will make one star so now the count increased to eight so we should see that particular event in real time flowing to our lambda so if i just open the same log so my repeat is going to take some time see here the data came that now it is showing the count of stars are eight okay so that means from github without using api gateway directly we can trigger the lambda function so i hope this particular video explains the answer of this particular query so i will provide the documentation link of lambda function url in the description box from where you can explore about this particular new feature in more detailed manner right so i hope you understood this concept this is all for my this video if you find this video helpful then please like share and comment subscribe our channel if you have not subscribed till now and don't forget to press the bell icon to get the notification of our latest videos thank you